where are you at? Where would you like to be? to be here with you. You may have had some hassles. You know, maybe a fight with the uh, missus, maybe hassles trying to get away from work, maybe you didn't want to come. There's always obstacles, isn't there? And I'm going to tell you something that's very basic here. It's not a coincidence that you're here. You may think it is because you had to fight all these other things to get here but it's not a coincidence. God wanted you to be here. And these obstacles are nothing more than the evil one setting up, you know, kind of like hurtling things that we have to get over to get to our goal. And thanks be to God, with God's grace and your guardian angel, you have surmounted those obstacles to be here. So I'm going to ask you to open yourself to the moment and to this place. Isn't it gorgeous? I mean, I've always loved the Pecos Monastery, um, not only for the Benedictine presence, but also for the glory of creation surrounding us. So take advantage of this place. Take advantage of the monastic community praying for you. Take advantage of the quiet and solitude. Take advantage of the nature. And I'm going to ask you to put aside any and all distractions. Turn off the cell phones, the pagers, the fax machines whatever else would take your mind away from being present to the Lord at this time. I know that's difficult because we live in a society that loves to be distracted. And we think everything that we're so important that we have to be in constant co communication with everybody. Isn't that just a crock? Yep. You know that somehow or another we're so important that we can't wait to be in contact with somebody who wants to contact us. It's a time for us to be alone and with the Lord and with other brothers who are believers, okay? So take advantage of that. This doesn't come often. You know, Jesus often would say to his disciples after busy uh, weeks of uh, spreading the good news, all doing good stuff, come apart with me to a faraway, lonely place. Uh, this pretty much defines it, doesn't it? Come apart with me. Uh, be with God. Make yourself present to God. Turn yourself in.